China just made another bold move in space. A Long March 3B rocket blasted off from Zichang Satellite Launch Center carrying China Sat-10R, a powerful new communications satellite. But this isn't just another routine launch. This satellite is a strategic upgrade, replacing the aging China Sat-10 and expanding China's reach in global communications. It's part of a bigger plan to strengthen national security, boost global influence, and support the Belt and Road Initiative. So what makes China Sat-10R so special, and how does it fit into China's space ambitions? Let's dive in. China Sat-10R isn't just another satellite, it's a critical upgrade to China's space-based communication network. Launched aboard a Long March 3B rocket from Sichang Satellite Launch Center, this satellite is set to replace China Sat-10, which has been serving since 2011. But why is this replacement so important? China Sat-10R is designed to enhance and secure China's communication infrastructure, providing stable high-speed connectivity for key industries such as transportation, emergency response, energy, and forestry. Unlike its predecessor, this satellite is expected to feature more advanced transponders, improve signal coverage, and enhance security protocols. Although exact specifications remain undisclosed by China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, one of the most crucial aspects of China Sat-10R is its role in disaster management and emergency response. Natural disasters like earthquakes, floods, and typhoons often disrupt ground-based networks, making satellite communications essential. China Sat-10R ensures uninterrupted communication in crisis situations, helping coordinate relief efforts efficiently. Additionally, this satellite plays a pivotal role in China's digital economy. With the expansion of 5G networks, IoT, Internet of Things, and remote operations, having a reliable geostationary communication satellite ensures seamless connectivity, especially in rural and remote regions where fiber optic infrastructure is limited. But perhaps the most strategic aspect of China Sat-10R is its integration into the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. This satellite extends telecommunication services to partner nations, strengthening China's geopolitical influence. Countries within BRI that lack their own satellite networks can now rely on China's infrastructure, deepening economic and technological ties. China Sat-10R's geostationary orbit at 110.5 DE East ensures constant coverage over China and its surrounding regions. Unlike low-Earth orbit satellites, which require large constellations to maintain continuous service, a single geostationary satellite can deliver uninterrupted connectivity to a fixed region. This satellite is not just about maintaining current capabilities, it represents China's commitment to long-term space leadership. The launch of China Sat-10R was made possible by one of China's most reliable workhorses, the Long March 3B rocket. This rocket developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, CULT, has been the go-to choice for launching satellites into geostationary transfer orbits, GTO. But why did China stick with this older model instead of its newer Long March 7A? The Long March 3B has a proven track record, capable of carrying payloads of up to 5.5 metric tons to GTO. It's fueled by hypergolic propellants, unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazion, and nitrogen tetroxide, a choice that, while toxic and outdated compared to kerosene liquid oxygen alternatives, ensures reliability. It has been used for numerous critical missions, including launching satellites for China's Bijou navigation system and past lunar missions like Chang'e 4. The launch sequence was executed flawlessly at 8.11 p.m. Beijing time with the rocket climbing into the night sky from Sijiang Satellite Launch Center. Located in Sichuan Province, this site is China's primary hub for geostationary satellite launches due to its ideal location near the equator, which maximizes fuel efficiency and allows satellites to enter their desired orbits more effectively. What makes this launch unique is its geopolitical context. China is steadily increasing its launch frequency, aiming for over 100 missions in 2025, including crewed missions to Tiangong Space Station, deep space exploration with Tiangwen-2, and the launch of new commercial rockets. The successful deployment of China Sat-10R showcases China's growing dominance in space launch technology, proving that it can compete with global giants like SpaceX and Roscosmos. 
Moreover, China's choice to rely on a state-run space program instead of private companies, like the U.S. model with SpaceX, ensures complete control over its strategic assets. While private Chinese companies like Galactic Energy are emerging, critical missions like ChinaSat-10R remain under state oversight. The success of this launch reinforces China's commitment to its space-dominant strategy, ensuring its satellites remain independent of Western-controlled infrastructures like Starlink or OneWeb. The ChinaSat-10R mission is not just about communication, it's about geopolitical strategy and technological independence. By launching this satellite, China is making a clear statement. It is determined to lead in space-based infrastructure and reduce reliance on Western-controlled networks. One of the most significant aspects of this satellite's mission is its integration into the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. Many countries involved in BRI lack their own advanced telecommunications networks, and by providing connectivity solutions, China strengthens its economic and political influence. Nations that rely on China's SAT-10R for secure communications naturally deepen their partnerships with Beijing, giving China a competitive edge in international diplomacy. China is not just expanding coverage, it's ensuring data security. With increasing concerns over cybersecurity and surveillance, many countries are wary of using foreign-controlled networks. By launching and controlling its own satellite fleet, China eliminates the risk of external interference and ensures sovereign control over its communication channels. In the bigger picture, this launch is part of China's broader space ambitions. The country has already established the Tiangong Space Station, successfully landed rovers on Mars, Tianhuan-1, and the Moon, Chang'e-4, Tian'e-5, and is now focusing on deep space missions like Tianhuan-2, which aims to explore near-Earth asteroids and main belt comets. These advancements demonstrate that China is no longer catching up, it's leading in key areas of space exploration. Another critical factor is China's growing competition with the U.S. in space infrastructure. While Elon Musk's Starlink aims to dominate global internet coverage, China is countering with its own Guang satellite constellation. This project, expected to consist of thousands of satellites, will rival Starlink's capabilities, ensuring China's own space-based internet that cannot be influenced by foreign entities. Additionally, China's recent advancements in reusable rockets indicate that future launches may not require hypergolic fuel rockets like the Long March 3B. With new technologies being developed, China is looking at reusability and cost efficiency directly competing with SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Starship programs. China Sat-10R is more than just a communications upgrade. It's a symbol of China's growing space power, its strategic economic influence, and its vision for a future where it controls its own digital destiny. With more launches coming, this is just the beginning of a massive shift in global space dominance. The launch of China Sat-10R is a multifaceted achievement that underscores China's advancements in space technology its strategic vision for global connectivity, and its commitment to enhancing both domestic and international communication infrastructures. As China continues to expand its presence in space, initiatives like the China Sat-10R mission will play a crucial role in shaping the future of global communications and international. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.